Researching the answer to the question, what is a network, usually takes you into a very complex and detailed explanation very quickly. This short course will give you a clear definition of a data network using the OSI model as a reference, providing you with foundation knowledge which will make our deeper dive courses into VLANs and subnets far easier to understand. To begin with, let's pull up our old friend, the OSI model. As we learnt from the OSI course, the physical layer is the medium we use to send and receive data packets. We can think of the physical layer as the cable or Wi-Fi, which connects hosts to a network. And what is a host? A device on a network. Yes, very good. During the Ethernet Explained course, we learned how this physical layer is connected to the data link layer via a PHY. If you're not sure what we mean by a PHY, why not head over to the Ethernet Explained course here on the Academy to refresh your memory. It's at layer two we can start to answer the question, what is a network? Don't worry about the fact that layer three is called the network layer, we'll come to that later. The first thing you need to remember is that a network begins at layer two. We're going to define the word network from both a layer two perspective and a layer three perspective. Think of layer two as being an actual network of devices or hosts which are able to communicate with each other. It's called data link because at this layer, Host devices are linked together to form a single network, often referred to as a local area network or LAN. As we learned in the Ethernet Explain course, the host addresses used at layer two are the MAC addresses. And because every MAC address is unique, theoretically every host could communicate on the same LAN. This is exactly what happens when we connect hosts to a network switch. The switch will use MAC addresses to determine which host or group of hosts it needs to send data packets to. And this is a network at layer two. In networking, a layer two network is called a broadcast domain. And whenever you hear this term, think of it as a network at layer two. A broadcast is a data packet which is intended for every host that can be reached via layer two messaging. And the broadcast domain is the set of hosts who will receive it. A broadcast domain is commonly determined by physical connectivity. Any hosts connected to our switches are on a broadcast domain. It is, however, possible to subdivide our physical network into multiple virtual networks using a technique called VLAN. And we'll take a deeper dive into VLANs very soon here on the SDVOE Academy. But for now, let's keep it simple. Layer two of the OSI model is where a network is created. Now let's head up to layer three. We can clearly see this is called the network layer. And that's because this is the layer which connects multiple networks together. A simple example would be a home network like this, where a router connects the private network inside the house to the public network outside the house. In the same way we call layer two networks broadcast domains, at layer three, we call each network a subnet. And at layer three, we identify each subnet using a different address called an IP address. You can learn more about IP on the layer three, so that's where IP lives course here on the academy. Layer three subnets, like layer two broadcast domains, can also be subdivided to create smaller, more manageable networks using a process called subnetting. Now this process is considerably more complex than VLANs, and would generally be carried out by an IT professional. 
We'll take a deeper dive into layer 3 subnetting very soon here on the SDVOE Academy. But for now, let's revisit the question, what is a network, using the OSI model as a reference? Networks are created at layer 2, and we call these networks... Broadcast domains. Very good. Networks are connected together at layer 3, and these connecting networks are called... Subnets. Perfect. Stay tuned for more courses which further explain how layer 2 and layer 3 networks are subdivided and managed for greater network efficiency here on the SDVOE Academy. Thank you.